this is Ruth out at Beaver Creek. Uh, unfortunately, today is pouring down rain, so we're gonna take a little pretend walk. Uh, and sometimes when we're on walks out in the woods, we see oh, raspberry bushes or blackberry bushes. You can see the little thorns all over them. And then we notice that something's come along and has been eating the tops off of the bushes. Now there are two critters that like to eat the raspberry bushes. Lots of critters like to eat those raspberries. But the bushes themselves with those thorns, there's only a couple of animals out here in the woods that like to eat them. I'll give you a hint. The first one, you can tell the boys from the girls because of their antlers. If you said deer, you got it right. Uh, the second one, a lot of times we think have really good hearing because they've got the great big ears and the little fluffy tail uh, in there. And if you said bunny rabbit, you are again correct. Uh, but if there's no track or scat, or anything there. Sometimes it's hard to figure out, we have to think, what maybe was here? Those two you can tell apart by what was left behind. So if you see the raspberry bush like this, and there's a real sharp angle cut, that will definitely tell you one of the animals. I'm gonna give you a clue in a second, let you figure this out. The other way thing you might see is it looks like the branch has been torn off, like something went and just kind of ripped it up. You can just guess but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint uh, when we take a look at the, their skulls and their teeth. So this is the skull of a cottontail rabbit. And what we notice with those front teeth is that when they bite, they cross each other. There's very sharp teeth, top and bottom. And do you notice how you get kind of an angle line between the top and the bottom? So which of these was chomped on by the rabbit, do you think? If you pick the angled one, you're right, because that's how he makes the angle. Now deer, some people don't know this, deer are missing something. So we have the deer's skull, here's where his nose was, his eyes, his back teeth. But if you notice up here, there are no front teeth. And there's no holes, the teeth didn't fall out. There aren't any. Deer do not have top front teeth. They do have that bumpy palate, kind of like we do. You feel with your tongue, you get all those bumps on the top of you, the roof of your mouth. But think about it, if you were going to bite a, a woody stick that has thorns on it, would you pinch it between your tongue and the roof of your mouth, or would you come back here and grab it with your molars? Now think about your molars, those back teeth you have. Are those your cutting teeth or your smashing teeth? They're smashers. So when the deer comes along and he bites on there, he kind of smashes, rips, and tears. So he's never gonna get a nice clean cut on the, on the stick. So the next time you're out in your neighborhood or here at Beaver Creek on the trails, and you start seeing sticks that look like they've been nibbled on, you're gonna have a pretty good clue who was here doing the nibbling. Have fun, be safe.